The Gregorian calendar, which is the calendar most widely used today, has months of varying lengths, with February being the shortest month with only 28 days. Have you ever wondered why February has only 28 days, while other months like January have 31 days? The answer lies in the historical and practical reasons behind the evolution of the calendar. To understand why February has 28 days, we need to go back in time to ancient Rome. The Romans originally had a 10-month calendar that started in March and ended in December. Each month had either 30 or 31 days, but this calendar did not accurately align with the astronomical year which takes about 365.24 days for the Earth to orbit around the Sun. In 713 BC, the Roman king Numa Pompilius introduced reforms to the calendar to make it more accurate. He added two months, January and February, to the calendar, making it a 12-month calendar. However, Numa faced a challenge in fitting the 355-day calendar year into the actual 365-day astronomical year. To tackle this, he assigned 29 days to January, March, May, July, August, October, and December, and made February the shortest month with only 28 days. The exact reason why Numa chose to assign 28 days to February is uncertain, and there are several theories about it. One theory suggests that February was considered an unlucky month by the Romans, and thus, it was given fewer days. Another theory suggests that February was considered a month of purification, and therefore, it was kept shorter than the other months. However, the number of days in February didn't always remain constant. The Roman calendar had a leap year system in which an additional month of 27 or 28 days, called Mercedonius, was inserted after February every two years to keep the calendar in sync with the astronomical year. But this system was abandoned in 45 BC when Julius Caesar introduced the Julian calendar, which had a leap year system of adding one extra day to February every four years, making it 29 days long. The Julian calendar was widely used for over 1,600 years, but it still had some inaccuracies. By the 16th century, the date of the spring equinox had shifted, and the calendar year was out of sync with the astronomical year by about 10 days. To address this, Pope Gregory XIII introduced the Gregorian calendar in October 1582. It retained February as a 28-day month, but modified the leap year system to exclude years that are divisible by 100 but not divisible by 400, such as the year 1700, 1800, and 1900. This adjustment made the Gregorian calendar more accurate than the Julian calendar. Today, the Gregorian calendar is the most widely used calendar around the world, and February remains a 28-day month, except in leap years when it has 29 days. Thanks for watching.